3.1.8 I did this problem already and put it into the video solution you can check that out and as you probably saw I used combining registers together and used the voltage division but actually someone asked me hey Dr. Kim can we just use nodal analysis in this problem so this time use nodal analysis to solve the problem I'm gonna redraw this circuit a little bit larger we want to use node analysis now we need to identify the node so we have a node one node right here which is positive six because it's a plus and we have another node here i'm gonna call it v1 we have another node here i'm gonna call it v2 and finally this is the node with the v naught we need to assign the direction of the current this time so we have a three milliamps going in that direction so we have that right down down left down so i assign the direction of the current to find the v naught let's do use nodal analysis that means we need to do kcl at v2 then entering is three milli equals there are two leaving v2 minus v out over 2k plus v2 over 6k so from here we can multiply everywhere by 6k 18 equals 3v2 minus 3v naught plus v2 so we have one equation 4v2 minus 3v naught equals 18 now we need to get the second equation for v naught kcl at v naught that is entering v2 minus v naught over 2k equals leaving v naught over 1k so we multiply 2k for both sides v2 minus v naught equals to 2v naught move it over v2 minus 3v naught equals to zero so these two equations you should be able to find v naught and v2 if we multiply this guy by 4 v2 minus 12 v naught and then we need to subtract then 4 v2 minus 4 v2 zero negative 3 v naught minus minus 12 which is 9 v naught equals 18 so that'll give us v naught as a 2 volt. Hey Dr. Kim, what happened to the left side of circuit? We don't have to do much about the left side of the circuit, but if you applying the nodal analysis again at v1 this time, so nodal analysis KCL at v1, then entering is 6 minus v1 over 4k equals leaving v1 over 2k so we multiply both sides by 4k 6 minus v1 equals 2v1 and v1 move it over 3v1 equals to 6v1 now equals to 2. i mean that makes sense if we combine this 4k and 2k together it's gonna be 6k and that 6k is parallel with this voltage source to find the current going through 4k and 2k we do 6 volts over 6k which is 1 milliamp and this is 1 milliamp so that's 4 volts right here and 2 volts right here Hey, Dr. Kim, how do you know this is the plus minus or minus plus? When you do KVL in this loop, we have to have a negative 2, negative 4, plus 6, which equals to 0. So we have to sign polarity of the voltage like that. 